Okay. Mono Amigos and CKMSers. With this time and the station being down, and even when the station isn't closed because of the uh, COVID-19 and things like that, people may want to program from home. So it's called a remote broadcast. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I'm going to put a link down in the description to this page, which also has links to other pages. I think if they were smart, see a lot of things have happened so uh, not that they're not smart but a, a good idea would be as if this page is password protected only for CKMS members you want because it's got how to jump onto our uh, stream anyway what you want to do is you want to download mix now I'm gonna I'm gonna load mix I've also used some of the other programs there's other weird ones called but um, but the prob but the problem with but is some computers you need DJ equipment. So you need to be running your stuff off your iPod or something like that through a mixer with a microphone um, and your computer is just sending it out to the radio station, which will play it in in KW uh, and on our internet stream. The good thing about mix is you have it on your computer it is sending it out but you can play stuff from your computer so if you have an iTunes library or something like that you don't need to be coming in to your sound card now some DJs have said but can also do that but uh, not always depending upon how good your sound card is anyway I've used but before it's a pretty good program but I'm gonna try mix so I want to just play some some stuff off my iTunes library here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Mix. Now, if you click on the top link right here, I'm not going to go for this paid one. I'm just going to go for Mix. It takes you right to the thing. This works for a whole bunch of operating systems here. So I clicked this. I'm not going to click it again because I've already downloaded one. You can see it in the bottom corner here. Uh, you click this and it immediately starts downloading. I've got Windows 7 I'm running. I know it's an old, older computer. I had the... I'm, so I just clicked it. I'm going to run this. See what happens. I'm doing it for the first time. So if you are, you download that thing. Hopefully it doesn't kill my computer. Yeah, we're going to run this thing. Now I'm trying to run it while I've got OBS going here, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. Boom. I accept the license. Sure, we'll install all this stuff. Okay, it's doing something. I just went with the default settings there. I kind of looked at uh, the disk stuff, but I've got a whole bunch of USB hard drives connected right now, so I didn't want to figure out what was what. We'll just say do it. It's installing it on C. Um, and then, hopefully we will open it up and see kind of what the interface looks like too. Okay, here we go. Finish button. Let's launch this guy. You could close it and it would be somewhere on your desktop. Uh, just because I have all this stuff running, I'm just going to say launch it. I'm going to click.
choose a music library directory. Huh. I don't know. Okay, again, first time I'm running it. So let's. I have got here a music folder where whenever I buy an album and get stuff, I download it to here. So let, let me select this folder. Or Bandcamp. Bandcamp is another great place. Holy smokes. It is taking mix a minute to scan my music library. Okay. See, what I was hoping was I could just play from iTunes and it would go out. But maybe I'll have to play some of the stuff from my music library instead. We'll see. So it's import, it looks like it's scanning, importing my music library. Now, this one looks like it's got lots of stuff going on. So if you aren't a DJ, maybe a DJ knows, like, these are a whole bunch of faders. Looks like you can add effects. Uh, I'm guessing this is where one track can be. You can have your next track set up over here. You can, you know, how DJs have got the thing on and they're listening and they're mixing between these two things here. Like, there's tons of stuff going on here. If you're not one of those type of DJs, but was pretty simple where it was just like you enter in the connect stuff and you say go and it connects. Um, this I'm not quite sure. So let's see if we can find the settings on this thing. Check, 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 check. Nope, sorry, that was just into your heads. Actually, it might not be picking up my microphone because... Uh, it's being used here. Let's check out preferences. This looks like that page that we just saw. I've got my library here, controllers. Holy smokes. Here we go, live broadcasting. This is what we want to do. So now on that page, there's a whole bunch of information Here's where you want to enter it in. Now, I'm going to stop this here. This is kind of our installation, um, our installation video and where you would enter your stuff. I'll have to make a separate video, especially because it looks like I need to play with this a little bit too in order to uh, show you how to use this thing. But there's our setup. Anyways, that'll get us started. It does look a little bit scary, but if you're a DJ, probably not at all. I'm going to figure out how to play some music right here in a minute, and then I'll be back. Okay, see if you can install. <laughs> 